All right, shockingly, I'm back with another knife of Aussie Mike's. Um, this is from Ian over at CMF Metalworks. Super cool guy. Here's a little bit of details about this one. This is not brand new. This is coming to me via the secondary market to send to Mike in Australia. Comes in these hard plastic cases. They're Pelican style type cases. A lot of people are using those cases. I really, I really like those cases. They're, they're really cool. So this is the Mistress R3 version. And at first glance, it looks like a just a small double thumb studded knife. However, there is a hidden flipper tab. Micro flipper. It, it, it's crazy to me. So is this the true like non flipper flipper? Uh, it's not. One day, I hope I can film a non-flipper flipper here to showcase for you guys. But if you know, you know. If you know about the non-flipper flipper, comment who makes it down below. Okay? Um, so you do have thumb stud. You have reversible thumb stud. You know, one for you lefties. But you also have this flipper tab that works amazing like like I, I don't even know what to say about it like it works better than some knives i have that have true flippers like true flipper tabs like it, it works better than this red or snipe works this one does work but it's not as snappy as the cmf this just works and it's not even there so it's not going to be a pocket pecker. It's not going to obstruct anything in your pocket, in your pants, in your hand. Nothing. It's amazing. Super cool feature. All right. So the knife itself, four and five eighths closed, eight inches overall, 3.4 inch blade with 3.29 cutting edge, 0 0.010 behind the edge. The edge on this thing it probably needs a sharpening, but the bevel is there at the tip. But as you go down the blade, even on this other little slight recurve, it's, bare, it's barely there. So it's super, super thin behind the edge, which is super cool. This particular one has micarta scales. You can see there's some wear. Micarta is naturally going to absorb the oils in your hands. And the material that you're using to cut, like, you know, if you get this in the dirt and the mud and whatnot, it's going to pick that up. It's going to absorb a little bit into the scales. And it's going to patina, if you will, over time. Floating backspacer, it's titanium, titanium pocket clip. You can see here, again, some wear. Where you don't see the wear is right up under the pocket clip. Because you're not going to get your hands and your sweat and oils from your hand up under the pocket clip too much. This thing works great, fantastically in the pocket. And it's just a really cool, sleek looking, sexy blade. Runs on bearings. The action is fantastic. Weighs in at 4.2 ounces. The blade steel on this particular version is CTS XHP, which is a lot of people's favorite. It's great to work with, easy to sharpen in the field, good edge retention. Um, yeah, CTX is a fantastic, or CTS XHP is a fantastic blade steel. This thing is just cool. Uh, yeah, I've wanted to check out a CMF for a while. We did have Ian on our podcast, the EDC Hour with Dirk and Alex. I'll put a link to that channel down below and I'll try to find the actual episode to put up in the corner um, after this video. So you can just click on that, go right over there. You can see what Ian is doing new, at least at the time that we filmed and a little bit more about his background and stuff like that. These are handmade one at a time custom knives in, uh, I'm just going to draw a blank here as to where he's located. So I'm not even going to say because I will probably be incorrect. So quick size comparison here. You got the Sharpie, 
you got the Delica, you've got the Red Horse Knifeworks, because we use that as a, as a flipper comparison, so why not as a size comparison? Um, and how about the VC Edge interface, because that doesn't get enough airtime here on my channel. To give you another idea, this is just M390, 3.6 inch blade. All right, there you go, guys. Quick and easy. Um, yeah, this is just fantastic of a knife. And Aussie Mike is going to be excited to get this down in Australia for sure. I'm guessing there's not a ton of these in Australia. I could be wrong, but there you go. And again, if you know who made the non-flipper flipper, comment down below. I would appreciate it.